Welcome back to the channel everybody. A uh, quick update from this week. We've had an incredible amount of rain, another 50 mil this week. So still no progress on drilling. But so we've been focusing on some yard work, some sort of winter jobs. And I wanted to start with the building behind me. So this is our old hay shed. And uh, the bays look, used to look like this, all open. And this week we've been putting in these old grain walls which we had sitting around so we just bolted these together and uh, it's, it's quite a big job really but uh, the idea is that once the walls are in then we can put some cladding vertical cladding over the top and the idea is that this provides us with some more fertilizer storage so this is inside the shed now looking back towards our new grain store we've got a pile of road planings here and the idea is that when we built that store that we extended the concrete yard right up to the edge of this shed and uh, this shed is quite high this side is pretty good the other side is very low marginal use but one trouble we do have with this shed is down the middle is a concrete valley gutter which does tend to leak and you can see that on that uh, support structure there it's quite green uh, where it, the water runs down so that's something that I would like to try and sort out as part of the renovation of the shed I suppose part of the reason we're getting into it is we are on the outside of a town trying to liberate some extra space pops, possibility of future income streams and behind the shed we have a, a an empty area that used to be our uh, silage clamp so this is the area behind the shed now there's our new wall this side and our conveyor that we trialed and quite successfully quite pleased with so as you pan around you can see the concrete apron finishes here and stretches the other side of that trailer all the way up to between these two sheds so it gives us a really good amount of hard standing up to the doors that get on the gable end of our new grain store. So I guess my question is, or the thing we're struggling with, is we start to take on more compost. Can we change this area to take compost lorries, the uh, walking floor lorries? Can we tip here? Can we move this bankment? Can we set up a bund? How do we see it evolving in future? These lorries really aren't very good at going off road. So can we do it in such a way that enables them to stay on the concrete but doesn't cost us too much as far as putting down concrete aprons and tipping areas. So that's something we're working on uh, for the future.